This little puppy's future has countless possibilities. Do you think he could learn to skateboard or even surf? Our next story takes us to All Stars Animals in Miami, Florida, where average pets from rescue shelters are becoming stars. Take a look. No, you are not imagining things. You did just see a skateboarding dog. Ben Brando, Actually, three okay. skateboarding dogs. And bow for everybody. Stay. They may not look alike, but they're all family. Good dogs, all right, very, very good. And they're getting rave reviews. Everybody, turn around. Whoops. <laughs> I started training animals since I was a little kid. Uh, my family had tons of animals, dogs, cats, stay. chickens, all kinds of things. Up, stay. Stay, stay. And then they started calling me the animal trainer because I would train them to do just about anything. Once I started working in the entertainment business, I worked with uh, the big companies and I worked with alligators, big cats like tigers, lions. I got opportunity to, to handle some bears and uh, of course dogs and cats. Very good, all right. All of our pets are family members and they're also performers. Bang! Stay. Toby, the German Shepherd, he plays dead awesome. Bang! Stay. You shoot him and he falls right on his back. Bang! 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 Of course, that took a lot of training and the dog had to really trust me and start understanding that nothing was gonna be behind him. Nothing's gonna happen. Stay. And once he gained that trust, then he just started dropping and, and he loves it. Luna is my wolf hybrid. I can make her growl like go like I'm from really far away and tell her to growl and she looks like she wants to kill you. But it's, uh, it's all training. She's not aggressive at all and she will never bite anybody. You can do it. Hey, hey, on your side. Crawl, come on. Wind it. Come on, wolf. Come on, wolf. Let's go. In wolf's hybrids, you really have to do a lot of training. They are not like dogs. They have different temperament. She was a backup dog for the Chronicles or Nanya. She was seven months in New Zealand. She did a movie in Japan. She's also been in uh, the Hallmark Channel. She is absolutely awesome. Up, 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 up. Easy. Hey. Ogie's a Jack hey. Russell that Good is dog. quite Stay a performer. There. This little guy has tons of energy, knows how to use it. Let's get it right, buddy. Stay. 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 Very nice. Ogie was in Matt TV and uh, he in countless commercials. This dog has been in all kinds of things. Gordo! Gordo is just the, the big baby of the family. He's just a big dog that he loves to cuddle, loves to jump in, jump in bed with us and sleep next to us. My daughter loves him to death. Stay. Whoa! Okay, ready, Brando? Hang on. Wait. Brando is a perfect example of a dog coming from the dog pound. When I got Brando, he was like crazy hyper. That's the reason why he was turned back to the shelter three times. He was on his third strike. A friend of mine called me and said, this little dog, they're gonna put him down. Most of my animals I rescue from shelters. And the reason why is because I like to give him a second chance. These animals, they deserve it. They, they don't deserve to be in this place. And so if I can go and I see a dog that has the potential to become a good studio dog, I will go and pick him up on a heartbeat. Any questions, you let me know. Very good, thank Let's you very much. Bye -bye. When I go to a shelter, mainly what I'm looking for is for happy dogs. Hi guys, he likes to play ball, he likes to play ball. They show me attitude. They have, they have some type of a uh, spark on their eyes that they want to work, that they want to come out and do something. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? When I took Brando home, he was just like jumping and biting and he was just crazy. I used that energy, slowly started working into the tricks that he liked. One of Brando's favorite tricks is to skateboard. 
when you teach a dog to do something like extreme as a skateboard, you have to put a lot of confidence on the dog. Okay. You start very slowly, put him in like in grass, in a grass area, so the skateboard is not moving, and then you move the skateboard back and forth. So once it's comfortable, then you move him off the grass, and then you pull him around slowly, left and right, and then the good part starts once he gets really confident. Once he's confident, then you can move him around and spin him and go as fast as you can. All right, good boy. Of course, always giving him rewards and a lot of praise. That way the dog is going to feel comfortable, and, and he's going to start really loving it. Getting to work these three dogs together is something actually pretty easy because they really love to work for me and they want it. Anything that I tell them, they just want to do it. All I have to do is give them treats and look at their eyes and say, hey, do this and do that. And, and they just love to work together. It's just a great team to work with.